Now, what they found was astounding. There was a 25% reduction in overall prostate cancer risk in those taking five milligrams of fast dried over the seven year period. However, there was a 27% increase in detection of high grade prostate cancers in the fast dried group. So what's happened here? Well, it's actually fascinating. And I'm gonna give you some understanding using this little Play-Doh model of the prostate and some cancerous cells. So the cancerous cells are in green, the prostate tissue is in red. Now, when they do a prostate biopsy, a little syringe here, when they do a prostate biopsy, they are trying their best to sample parts of the prostate where the cancer cells may be hanging out. Now, cancer cells aren't necessarily diffusely positioned all across the entire prostate. So those cancer cells might actually be in one particular part of the prostate. So when you're sampling, you may actually miss some of those cancer cells in a prostate which is large. Now, the interesting thing about finasteride is, as we know, you actually shrink the prostate whilst taking finasteride. So what happens is, if you then were to try and sample a prostate which is shrunken, well, you probably get a better chance of actually sampling cancerous cells in that prostate because it's smaller. So in actual fact, finasteride made the effectiveness of this detection method far better in those individuals, which is why there's a 27% increase in the detection of high-grade cancers in these individuals, because they had a shrunken prostate, and so therefore it was easier to detect the cancerous cells in their prostate versus those who weren't taking finasteride and had a larger prostate, or even a normal-sized prostate.